Recently, cloud technology has caused a major sea change in our attitude to how we would conduct business. Uh, it's a disruptive technology and it's, it's going to change uh, our experiences, um, the way we live, uh, the way we work and the way we interact with each other. This is a good thing and we can see it from a business perspective from the uh, the accumulation of startups and the development of new businesses that has pr proliferated and if you even just look through the pages of Silicon Republic you'd see these new companies with new business ideas appearing um, at pace uh, on the scene at the moment. So we have this uh, business innovation and technology opportunity. Um, we have massive multinational um, conglomerates coming and setting up their international headquarters here in Ireland. Uh, somebody must be doing something right. Uh, but are we maximizing our opportunity? Um, are we doing what we can to fulfill our true potential? Because as I see it, this will change our lives uh, uh, from what we do from a social perspective, how we interact with each other through Twitter or Facebook or whatever, how we work, how we carry out our day-to-day -day business, uh, and how we play, how we have fun. Because there's lots of stuff you can do which is based on this technology. EA Games would be one of the people that would speak to that, I'm sure. So next slide there is on government strategy because we had a minister earlier on, he mentioned quite a few things that are happening in this space. And the last panel, uh, which is an ex excellent panel by the way, brought a lot of new opinions to that, to that space as to what we're doing, what we're doing correctly and what we can do for the future. And the seven points that the government would like to concentrate on in terms of its action plan for 2013, I would see cloud as being key to all of these. Okay, so if you want to do your business at scale, then cloud is key. If you want to do your business where you want to reduce capital expenditure, cloud is key. If you want to do your business and improve your business and you want to reduce operational expenditure, cloud is key. And we can support uh, indigenous business, uh, entrepreneurial startups, uh, and grow new revenue streams within our existing business by adopting cloud technology. And that has been proven time and time again. And if you just look at the technology pages of any of the, the broadsheets or on, on our online publications, and you'll see this, we have tech startups appearing week in, week out, high caliber people, homegrown, excellent people. And we can still do more. We can apply this cloud technology to finance. We can apply it to agriculture. We can apply it to manufacturing. The sectoral, by applying it to the very sectors, then we can do a lot more. And even the government is trying to adopt some strategies in this area as well. Uh, the recent uh, cloud for gov which has been, uh, was been uh, proposed earlier. And we, we gain more confidence in the technology and with what's capable when we see the larger players becoming more public, including the sectoral, uh, government sectoral level organizations, becoming more public in um, demonstrating what they're doing through this cloud technology. Some government activity in 2012. Uh, so the government is already committed to establishing technology centers. There's a technology center been established in cloud computing, in learning technologies, in financial services, and it's doing great business to Enterprise Ireland in this way by linking universities and industry together. It's bringing two sets of research expertise together. There's excellent research happening in companies, as you all know. You've got your own R&D departments. There's excellent research happening in universities. And we are better than the sum of our parts. So when we can get together through government initiatives or collaborative research projects, whether it be innovation partnerships or through the CSET, the three CSET setup, Center for Science, Engineering and Technologies, then we can do far more. We are greater than the sum of our, our parts. And the minister, in fact, is going to be very busy next Monday because he has another technology center to open, but we leave that to him. Um, so this driving business by collaboration is important. We can bring, we can create more jobs, more opportunities uh, by expanding on what we're currently doing and the range of services that we currently provide. We can expand as well as what's currently on the pipeline in terms of what the government is, is doing in 2012. They have plans to roll out centers, technology centers in connected health, 
data analytics, pharmaceutical production, manufacturing. And all of these I see has been underpinned by the cloud. The cloud technology will support all of this. There is massive opportunity to, ex to explode into and produce uh, a huge economic growth in these areas by adopting, by fast adoption of cloud technology. I see the cloud technology has been all pervasive. So it doesn't just cut across these, but it's in health. So you're gonna have medical rec records, informatics, genomics, you know, uh, genome sequencing has allowed us to get closer to the human health of the individual patient now. And all of that because of the expertise in developing new storage mechanisms, new ways of interconnecting that data, aggregating the data, presenting that data, visualizing that data through cloud infrastructure and high performance computing architectures is going to give us, a, we're going to reap a great benefit and in a very short space of time, I'd imagine the last, in the next maybe three to four years. Some of the companies have been investing in 2012 and a lot of you here in the room. So some of the ones that I'm more closely with myself, which are on these slide as well, like would be the likes of HP, Dell, IBM in the audience here as well, uh, Fujitsu, Microsoft, Ericsson, all these companies are, and these are just the big names that, 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 that I'm aware of that we're working with closely within the university. But there's a lot more of them. And I, these are all I could fit in this slide, which is to make it still legible. There is a lot of activity going on across, and all of you guys here in the room are involved in that. But I think we need to sell it a little bit more, because even this, um, which I would say is an expert group that's in the room here at the moment, the people that are close to the cutting edge of what's happening in this industry, are still not fully aware of what they're their counterparts in other industries, as other, sorry, other companies within the industry are, are doing. And that ecosystem could be better managed, could be better supported, and generate other innovation. These are, as I said, some of the, the companies that are the, the brand names, uh, that are well recognized, but there's also a whole list of companies which are making it just about have just got, uh, start starting to expand and create large numbers of jobs uh, in, in Ireland. And most re well, one of the recent um, announcements, um, saw it on your page actually, Darren, was log me in. You know, uh, uh, but we also have lots of other startups uh, which are making great strides in, in getting the, the message out there. Canva TV, Lara Media, Inish Tech, 2SAS. There's lots of these companies that mo a lot of people here in the room wouldn't be aware of which are, are high performance startup, uh, high potential startup companies, uh, which have really good ideas and just need a bit of a break, whether it be, the, uh, as the panel members mentioned earlier, a uh, bit of venture capital to arrive at the right time, you know, or someone to make, invest in their, uh, their potential. And they're the next big happening uh, in, in Ireland with, with a bit of luck. And I don't see any reason why we couldn't have the next Google, the next Facebook, the next, the next Amazon. There's an opportunity. And this is why I came along here, I think. And I've been more positive about what we do, because we do a lot. And we tend not to bang the drum enough about it, I think. Uh, Forbes report there, Ireland's best country in Europe to do business. I mean, they, they're saying it like this is not something we're just saying. Because we can all say we're the best at doing everything. You know, uh, we're the best at this, we're the best at that. And there's a tendency in, in mission statements and, and, and PR statements for that to be the case. But when you get external experts and external reports, uh, non-commissioned reports saying that, then there's something good must be happening in the country. And Ireland has the capacity to become the global hub for cloud and big data. We have the cap capacity, do we have the will, do we have the inclination, do we have the support? That's a different question. We have the capacity, but it requires government to be behind that, it requires industry support, it requires academic support, it requires a, a group of like-minded individuals who want Ireland to do well. Not just their own companies, not their own, their own universities, to forget the parochial politics and work together. And I think we can do that. And I think if even just the group of people that's in this room, if there was a closer network, a closer collaborations, and I know there's some competitors in there, you know, there's a lot more we could do together. We are greater than the sum of our parts. Also an opportunity because I mean, it's obvious that we need a world-class infrastructure. I won't go back on that one again. Um, they men mentioned the presidency of the European Union. There's a light going to be shined on our country for six months. What are we going to do while we have the attention of the world? I was speaking with the European Commission there last week and when they came over to visit the Helix because we're, we're hosting the future Internet Assembly next May. That's where we have 600 of the brightest in Europe coming over to visit us. 
and they, they looked at the venue on our campus. Thank God it's our campus, just because we can plug DCU as well. But they saw the facilities there. They saw what was happening in Ireland. I gave them a talk about the type of companies that would be li liable to attend and type of business we were doing in Ireland. And that wasn't a pro, this is not, wasn't a pro DCU speak, speech, it was just what we are all capable of. And uh, they were impressed and they, they are going to cite that and that's a, that's a big event, it's a European Commission event during the European Presidency which is hosted in Dublin. So there are things we can do. I'm going to leave it at that on a positive note. Um, my contact details are there if you want to get in touch with me to have a, to have a chat. I want to thank again Silicon Republic for the opportunity to uh, speak to this uh, and thank Matt for his gracious introduction. <laughs>